we'll get started. Uh, oh, for our listeners out there who have never listened to our show before, what you need to do is uh, you go to Tubi, find the film, and when I'll count us down, and when I say go, uh, play the movie at the exact same time, so that way that all of you, our listeners, can be, our commentary will be in sync with the movie, but I'm pretty sure um, our commentary will still be fun regardless, even if you don't have the have the movie or not. But I or, was like... <laughs> or more importantly, after you press play, immediately stop uh, Tubi and uh, spend an hour and 30 minutes doing something better. Exactly. Watching this review. You could exactly. probably watch the pain dry and be more entertained or something. I don't know. I haven't seen this movie. I'm just assuming. But, you know, also um, keep in mind, listeners, if you are watching the movie for some reason, along with us, Tubi has ads because it is free. Indeed. So we will scream out ad when the ad comes on. So Indeed. you'll know we'll where to know. pause it. <laughs> exactly, and uh, sometimes the ads tend to appear at different spots for whatever, no matter which version we do. Like it might appear on, say, on our copy, Marcy, or um, or a different time on batches. So we'll let you all know once those ads pop up. <clears throat> but uh, we'll get started. So uh, I'll count us down, and when I <laughs> and once and, and once I say go, we play the movie. So. Marcy and Batch, are you guys ready? No, no. <laughs> I don't want to watch. This. It hasn't. It hasn't kicked in yet. So uh, no, but maybe soon. Uh, I don't, also, I will say this, Marcy. When uh, when you when we all get to the credits, usually the credits kind of go to basically the next movie. Try to find the function that keeps the credits blo- going because I'm about to both blow your minds with uh, a certain fact about the what happens at the end credits. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> so I'll leave, I'll leave that in suspense. Um, but, uh, let's get started. Yep. All right. Let's do this in five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh my God, it is playing. <laughs> I feel very sad right now. Now, all I knew about this movie going into it is that, for some bizarre reason, it's like a cult Canadian kids classic. That can you confirm this for us? Uh, yes, it is. I remember seeing this when I was very, very young. I would have been 10 years old in 1985, the year it came out. So, <laughs> and, I, and I remember hating this piece of shit then. <laughs> <laughs> is, I know it, it, is that in English? Because all of this is in, like, French-Canadian. Oh, it's in English. Mm. It Tales for like, All? Uh, What's yeah. Tales for All number two? Well, apparently... We don't, we don't know what, what, what Tales for All number one was. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? It's actually, well, the Tales for All was actually... This film is actually the second installment of a, uh, a franchise series... What? ...that was created by the French Canada... Called Tales for All, which was like um, a series of kids' films that were made. Uh, like, and there's a whole bunch of them. Besides the Peanut Butter Solution, there were other movies included: uh, the the Christmas Martian, the Dog Who Stopped the War, Bark and <laughs> Broccoli, the Young Magician, the Land of the Small, and so on and so forth. So there's a whole bunch of these films in this franchise that came out during I the eighties. I don't know any of those. I thought that was the mum for a second, then I realised that's a kid. <laughs> she looks like a mum. <laughs> oh, God, the hair. I love she, it. She looks like a very miniature, like, Karen Allen. No, not Karen Allen. Um, <laughs> from RoboCop. Um, what's her name? She's a very hard 13-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> you want some breakfast, sweetie? Uh, I know. Eat it. Eat it. Uh, not Karen Allen that you're thinking of. Um, nah, can't think of her name. I know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I know people are probably yelling at us right now. So, uh, it's like Robocop's partner for the first Robocop. Nancy Allen. Bloody hell. Nancy yeah, Allen. That's yeah, what I meant. Yeah. I got the last name right, just not the first name. I'm just just falls that. down the stairs to that on that robe. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I shouldn't like him. Isn't that a 
brother or wait, who's oh. this? This is her dad. Why is the dad, dad in the not the basement, the attic? And he looks like a like a really hungover Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> oh my god. Even mom's like, fuck this movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What yeah, is the, this? The mom has uh, gone away. She's not dead, usually. If a kid's movie, if the mom's absence, that means she's dead, but she's not. She's away in Australia. <laughs> Most likely just to get away from everything that's about to happen in this movie. We didn't see it happen, so it's not a Disney movie. Exactly. <laughs> mom went to go buy a pack of cigarettes before filming this movie and just never came back. <laughs> This movie has a data, the next door neighbor. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, and I'm like, what is he wearing? It clearly is a cold, but he's wearing a puffy jacket. <laughs> to be fair, this is probably what all kids would dress up as, as uh, back in the 80s. Wait, their last name is Baskins? Are they related to Carol Baskins? Yes. <laughs> Goddamn Carol Baskins! <laughs> <laughs> okay, she looks weird being on the shoulders of her father. I, I the ironic thing is, is he's like at least 30, but he looks like, like 80 years old. He looks very old. But he's a hard 27. I, I, <laughs> I feel like adults looked... 90 when they were like 30 in the, in the 80s. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, what is the point of all of this again? They're setting up the family dynamic. Oh, okay. There's, there's a dynamic in this movie? Well, the da- a- <laughs> Go ahead, Beth, sorry. <laughs> This was a precursor to Shameless where the dads just, like, give it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Damn, none, of these, none, none of these posters have Rick Ashley on them. <laughs> so, so why, why are there ghosts in this movie when they show up? Uh, you'll find out why very soon. Why? Oh, that's a bit sad. People living on the street. No homeless people. So, so basically... basically it's, they're Canadian homos. They're very nice. Oh. Well, they don't <laughs> beg you for money. Oh, the kids want to give them like, money. They don't, beg you, they don't beg the money. They're like, oh, it's, it's, uh, mate, if you want to, I mean, no pressures. Uh, you can give me some money if you want to. It's no, <laughs> it's no problem. <laughs> eh? <laughs> like, okay, Grandpa, I bet Dad. <laughs> He looked like the grandpa from Troll 2. I thought he was the grandpa from Charlie the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> no, he, he he only gets up if you tell him there's money involved. <laughs> bills, bills, bills. Foreclosure. <laughs> Damn Destiny's Child. <laughs> <laughs> what the don't hell? Kill the ant. That, don't kill that ant. That's the one from Ant-Man. <laughs> it's Anthony, leave him alone This is reminding me of the freaking freaking ant problem right now And I already saw some ants and I'm like, go away This movie's basically, this movie's basically a pu- uh, public school version of Degrassi <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean Drake's going to show up at some point? No, this is pre, 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 this is old school uh, Oh, okay Man, I need to rewatch that show. I used to love that growing up. I think it used to be on, like, isn't it, like, on stand here in Australia? Degrassi actually, High, you, I remember. you might be right. It might actually be on stand. Okay, I vote, let's say, fuck this movie. Let's just spend the next hour and a half talking about Degrassi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably better than this. Wait, the, does the dad live in the attic? Well, He's given his... up. <laughs> what the fuck is that teacher wearing? 